scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. You have heard me share for some of you who have followed our meetings and I have charged believers that in, in building in building people please listen this is true for ministry but it applies to every other aspect of life in building people you need to realize that when you have people around a church or any kind of ministerial platform if they do not encounter jesus the god of the bible there will be a lot of trouble there because anyone who has not submitted to the governing authority of the kingdom that person is a helpless prey in the hand of satan no matter how sincere that individual is are we together the effect of one spirit in the life of that individual can produce catastrophe that will destroy people so it matters that when people come to church that they encounter Jesus. This is not an issue of an evangelist sermon or perspective. The foundation for the believer's Christian experience is his encounter with Jesus. You can encounter a man of God and that becomes profitable only if Jesus is revealed through that encounter. Are we together now? There are several people in church who are not saved. They are not near the things of God. And it's wonderful provided their hearts are hungry and ready. Transformation takes time. Salvation does not take time. At the moment you are convicted of the Spirit of God, you must be able to surrender your heart until the Holy Spirit is at work in you. The, the, the negative possibilities in your life cannot be defined. Are we together? so until we have believers who are willing or we have people i don't want to use the word congregants but it is important especially for we men and women of god in order of priority we must see to it that with every encounter there is an opportunity for people to know that the church is not just a spiritual place where christians converge it's more than that are we together the epicenter of every Christian activity in church or any other place is Jesus. Jesus first. No matter how modern we become, no matter how sophisticated we become, and let me respectfully observe that this is the bless. This is one of the um, the issues with the Pentecostal charismatic movement. Now, I, I'm not, I, you know that I love the body of Christ, but I'm just addressing it because for many people, they jump Jesus and go straight to power, miracles, signs and wonders. And so you find people who are fasting in church. You find people who are praying in church. You find people who are even speaking in tongues, supposedly in church. And you find out that they are around the atmosphere of charismatism. But that foundational encounter with Jesus is not there. And sometimes because of, you know, they are being around spiritual things, they can be appointed and they will be given spiritual responsibilities. The danger is that their emphasis becomes, their, their experience becomes their emphasis. 
If Jesus was not the foundation of their experience, Jesus cannot be captured in what they are saying. Are we together now? Yes. Let me tell you the truth. We are going to lose the potency of godliness, generationally speaking, if we bring Jesus out. Take Jesus out and leave power. We are still in trouble. Take Jesus out and leave wisdom. We are still in trouble. Take Jesus out and leave the Bible. We are still in trouble. Take Jesus out and leave prayer. We are still in trouble. Take Jesus out and leave fasting. We are in trouble. The foundation for the believer's experience is Jesus. Now, there are many keys of the kingdom. I hope we are learning already tonight. There are many keys of the kingdom. They represent the mysteries of the kingdom. But there is only one key to the kingdom. And that key is not a metallic object you turn left or right. Jesus himself. The Bible says there is no other, there is no other name under heaven given to man by which we must be saved. You will be surprised. Get an average believer, random sample believers across several churches and ask them about Jesus. They will tell you about favor in an instant. They will tell you about miracles in an instant. And there's nothing wrong with that. They will tell you about breakthrough in an instant. How can I come out of this situation and say, ah, I know, the power of sacrifice. Let me see what you have. Sow a seed, you are out. But when you begin to ask them about Jesus, nah. that is the reason why there are many people who can dwell in the midst of people who are not saved under their care for many years and they never hear about Jesus. May I remind you, ladies and gentlemen, that the faith life was founded upon Jesus. It was not founded upon a man of God. It was not founded upon a denomination. Are we together? If people pile up in a church and they are not saved, that church is not safe. S-A-F-E. Because all kinds of trouble will emerge. You, you simply would have gathered bodies for Satan to use. There are many, respectfully speaking, there are many pastors plunging into depression today, world over, having all kinds of headaches, wondering why is there trouble every time, trouble. And not, there, there are all kinds of things that come with leadership, generally. But when Jesus is not the epicenter of what you do, and when he's not enthroned in the heart of the people who listen to you, believe me, you can spend 10 years and in one day, the kind of trouble that the devil will ferment will almost break your heart and plunge you to death. Jesus, the son of the living God. So when a believer or when an individual comes, he knows that the foundation, listen, if I call anyone right now, I pick anyone and I say, tell me about your spiritual journey, you will be surprised. Our fathers and grandfathers, both physically and in the faith, there was something, you know, when we were growing up, we used to hear people say they could recite the day they were saved. Do you recall that? They can tell you I was saved on the 5th of October. This They will even recall the event. But as many people, I'm not saying, I'm not just talking about the religiosity of keeping the date. But it was such a special moment for them, they preserved it. Even after 30 years, they will tell you it was a Wednesday afternoon. They will even tell you the message they had. But you can call a gentleman right now and say, listen, you are the head of counseling and prayer. Talk to me a bit about your spiritual journey. You say, what does that mean? I was appointed. I've been around the house of God. When the church said fast, I fasted. When the church said pray, I prayed. That person does not have a foundation. It's not an insult. There is serious trouble there. Because the day he now has authority and the mandate to mature and raise other believers, he is going to teach them according to his faulty template. Are we together? Yeah. How can a father raise a responsible child to become a Christian when the father himself does not know how to be a Christian? What is he going to tell the son? 
you raise people to reflect your conviction and your experiences so follow carefully what i'm teaching tonight there are many people who have not encountered jesus christ the son of the living god now let's go to the second level there are those who are saved are we together but the opportunity has not been given to them to grow spiritually that is another danger again i don't mean to play with your mind we love our nation but how many of you know that nigeria produces for instance agriculturally and then our oil and gas but because largely we are not involved in refining that raw product does not bless us so much are we together it has to be exported refined and brought back and that finished product is what you queue for you don't queue for the dark paste of smelly oily substance that's not what you are packing your car for are we together when you park your car at the filling station it is still gas it's still your oil but it is not the version that left the earth that you are looking for that means there are many believers who get saved and do not submit themselves methodically to be discipled and to be mentored the word discipleship is a word that is gradually disappearing from the church or unfortunately in many platforms what we call discipleship is not maturing believers to look like christ it is maturing them to subscribe to the template of a denomination and sometimes that ends up destroying people again but according to scripture when you encounter jesus christ listen very carefully when you encounter jesus christ and that comes even by the spirit immediately you are introduced to the ministry of the holy spirit and you are introduced to the ministry of the word these are the principal tools that are responsible for your maturity you gain stature in the kingdom to the degree to which you subscribe to the dealings of the spirit what does the holy spirit do to you he makes you alive to christ that means all your organs that have been deadened by a life of sin and being alienated from christ there is a regeneration from the word regime a regeneration that happens to you hallelujah and now because you really cannot grow holistically in isolation i hope you know that god designed spiritual growth to be enhanced through community christian living that means it is difficult for an individual to grow holistically in isolation even when you read through church history those who had their experiences alone had the side effect of a lot of imbalances because they could not see anything they just saw a perspective and that was it so god's authorized platform for the believer's growth is that as the believer encounters jesus christ he is introduced listen carefully he's introduced to a a gathering a larger community of believers why is he introduced to the larger community of believers i'll be showing you later on but that he's now introduced to a community of believers that now begin to help him he or she will meet people who are of like minds number two it will grant the person the courage and the confidence to now begin the process of transformation because transformation is very powerful if it is done corporately are we together so let's say for instance from a life of sin you now became saved chances are excellent that if in isolation you will be so lonely you will not have the courage to walk in keeping with the truths that make for your transformation and chances are you will go back are we together but when you have believers just like you if you are the only one praying in tongues you have no friend you have nobody who prays with you the day the people you left see you they will make you feel stupid for that newfound life and chances are excellent that you will not have the courage to walk in keeping with the things that advance you spiritually so god surrounds you with like-minded people are we together now you begin to understand the culture of the kingdom 
there are many people who are saved but they have not submitted themselves to transformation the bible calls these people carnal the word carnal is not an insult the word carnal means that their impulses the everything they do is governed by their senses they are sensual in their approach emotional in their approach the day they feel like hating you and getting angry they vent it out they are the ones who tell you things like i'm like that or even my mother and my father everybody knows i can be angry any day you just get used to me and expect all these things that is a carnally minded person he is not an unbeliever but he's one who has not submitted to the authority and the transforming power of the word if we're together say amen, amen. are we together now unfortunately longevity in church does not automatically bring transformation i have drummed this again and again don't you make the mistake of thinking because you are 10 years old in church 10 years old in church does not mean you are changed that far your change is based on your hunger your change is based on the quality of the spiritual vessels that feed you and guide you i say this with all honor to the body of christ there are many assemblies and platforms where the members are hungry and thirsty but the problem is the vessel and the ill-prepared meal that they continue to be served with so you find people who are hungry they love god they want to learn but you see this is why god is going to judge us as preachers because one person mandated by god responsible for the holistic building of another person your personal carelessness can stunt the growth of someone for 10 years the problem was not his hunger or her hunger the problem is that what you are serving is absolute nonsense hallelujah there are children biologically speaking who now they've arrived that's the type of the new birth but then they are malnourished ill-nourished when you see them you you can almost tell that they are sick their skin is not fresh they have deficiencies of several minerals vitamins whatever it is when a good doctor meets these people the first thing is to begin to introduce them they study what is missing in your life basic biology and health science will teach us that there are all kinds of sicknesses that are related to the body and they can trace and tell you is the deficiency of vitamin c vitamin e oh your gums are bleeding you need to take more of this and that that's how it is spiritually so you can look at an individual and you look at his life please get the message i'm teaching you now understand it it will make you powerful and matured in the spirit you can study an individual and find out that based on your spiritual diagnosis there is the absence of the prayer ministry that means whoever mentored him did not emphasize the value and the power of prayer and priesthood as a tool for transformation so the person may be sincere but all he knows is just bible study when you say pray and you stretch five minutes he's looking at you and say ah, i was not trained like this oh five minutes is enough that's my contribution to my spiritual growth because the person who mentored him did not open him up experientially to the value of prayer are we together for another his problem may be that he's not learned the power and the supremacy of the word of god so he may pray but then you find out that he does not have respect and regard for the word of god why he will tell you the person who trained me did not emphasize the word of god when he came up on stage it was just stories and stories and i laughed and at the end of it we shared the grace that means members for want of word will be a reflection of the emphasis and the level of the seriousness of the spiritual leaders that train and build them do you agree with that when believers are not matured to be carnally minded the bible says is death is that in your bible it says to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life 
and peace. How does a person metamorphose from being a natural man to a carnal man, then to a spiritual man? There are various stages. The natural man is one who has not even met Christ. The carnal one is the one who has met Christ, but the workings of the spirit and the workings of the word has not yet found expression. You see the difference now? So the natural person that one he just needs jesus he needs to go to the cross there are many many carnal people in church unfortunately many of them because of the longevity of their stay have been appointed leadership positions and you will find out you know a carnal man by his perpetual disrespect for the supremacy of the word of god and the ministry of the holy spirit these are the two indices that define true spirituality or otherwise i know you are carnal or spiritual to the degree to which i see your submission level to the word of god so you can be in the office for instance and you are a relative christian what did i call you uh, we were traveling and I was shown a very interesting video that I laughed. They told somebody to choose, I think, a million dollars or the presence of God. And he said, no, he's not worthy for that presence. It is, is the, the money that... When I saw that, I said, that's right. Gave a, a silly excuse. I'm not worthy for the presence, no. Are we together? The cure for carnality is not counseling. No. The cure for carnality is not even deliverance like laying on of hands to cast out demons. The cure for counseling is that the cure for carnality is an immersion into a system that brings you under the authority, the governing authority of the Holy Spirit and the word of god and let me tell you it takes a long time for that transition to happen anybody who tells you that he got born again i hope you know there is nothing called the gift of maturity all these believers who evolve out of nowhere and claim maturity no sir maturity even physically madam if you give birth to your child today and by the next day he's coming with a cup of water to give you will you drink it what is wrong with bringing a cup of water you are saying, that child, I gave birth to the child. I've not even recovered myself. And the child said, good morning, ma. Fluent English and he's giving you a cup of water. No. I mean, there are natural things that don't make sense. How do, God can give you speed. Don't get me wrong. God can give you speed. But believe me, there is no such thing as instant maturity. God himself subscribed the path of maturity to process. You know why? so that you can build a pattern around it to help others to mature there are many when someone tells you i am a matured christian you don't need to argue what are the indices how do i know you are a matured christian i've been in church for a long time i handled bible study last year not necessarily those are not indices for maturity listen it is my prayer and i pray that god will open your eyes to see the burden in my heart my desire for you is to be so thoroughly sound and furnished not unto pride are you together now so that we you can do much for the kingdom just walk with me there's something i want to show you tonight many believers are not efficient tools as far as the revelation of Jesus and the advancement of the kingdom is concerned because they are largely ill prepared if you are a battle axe and you are blunt you have not been trained you will only be a casualty if taken to battle is that true transformation discipleship is a word that many people hate and then there are others who say i want to grow at my pace i will feed myself and learn whatever i need to learn you see as a student respectfully speaking it is irresponsible to choose what you want to listen to is that true when a student gains admission you go and sit down in class 
trusting the teacher and trusting the system if the teacher fails you then the government that is responsible will punish the teacher but you don't get to the class there are many many courses in in our, our institutions of learning many students will call certain courses boring is that true and there are certain courses you call exciting there are certain courses that are maybe three four five credit units and there are others that are just one credit unit that means the emphasis is not the same depending on what you are going to become there are times you sit down and you almost want to cry when will this course finish but you will sit down there but when we come to church most times we the bible calls it itching ears what is this one that is teaching on, on character or this now we've not had the message of favor in a long time is it that this man is not aware of what is happening in nigeria you sit down why don't you trust verify whether the teacher hears god verify whether the teacher loves you if so sit quietly and learn in the school of ministry we have several courses and finance is the last of them and usually you will understand when we start the course finance because there are many people if the first course is finance as soon as we are done you will graduate by yourself and say that's it may god bless you i think god has met my area of need <laughs> let me tell you why many believers don't grow properly we run around from pillar to post looking for what we want to hear what not what we need to hear are we together pastor can you teach about wickedness <laughs> why because you have a personal problem with somebody politically we convert your problem into a message are we together yeah. no you don't come as a ministry listen you must be disciplined even as a man of god i'm saying this to ministers of the gospel if a church is looking for money that does not mean you change the curriculum and then this remember the holy spirit is called the lord of hosts he is the one who designs the growth pattern of the people are we together you don't just come and preach your need and say i think something is wrong we are going to emphasize this issue of money and giving for the next eight weeks i'm not being sarcastic it's important for you to understand that the believers need to grow holistically it's been my emphasis that if your growth does not capture everything meant for your holistic development let me tell you this when satan comes to attack you he does not just attack you he studies how the pattern of training that you have been submitted to if satan finds out that in your training prayer was the emphasized he will route through that area if satan finds out that prayer was exaggerated as against the word of god he will route through that if he finds out that the place of character was not taught you he will route through it if he finds out that success influence and other kingdom teachings were not captured in your experience he will leave you to keep practicing priesthood while he destroys you using the tools of need satan does not just attack like that so he comes to find a family that loves god sincerely consecration hunger but they do not know anything about the economic system of the kingdom he will fashion his he will want to attack their prayer life but he will not attack the prayer life by attacking prayer directly he will use the area of ignorance to so distract them to a point that the next time the man of the house says all right everybody let's come for prayer the wife will turn and say i don't know who this your god is but i'm tired of this thing and by the time the wife frowns at her husband he will go back and say god you had her me too i'm tired it's just i didn't say my own Are we together? Imagine a doctor that never went to anatomy class. 
imagine a doctor that never went through surgery teachings and then you find yourself in a hospital and he says i want to help you you will not even pay come and lie down come and do what you just lie down and he carries an injection like a knife wanting to stab you who taught him that strategy the quality of believers that we are producing because of the kinds of things that we are teaching are we together it is important to touch the various areas and the various aspects of the, the, the kingdom life. But we must never de-emphasize or overemphasize the truths of the kingdom. Now, I, I submit to you that it's a very difficult thing. Difficult because every one of us is already given a dimension to function. And the dimension you are given will usually be your emphasis. That is where the need for the other dimensions of the body comes in. God does not give you the labor to learn everything by yourself. You can outsource the dimensions you do not have through humility and meekness. That means God is training me in the prophetic. So my own assignment will be consecration, fasting and prayer. I will not have the time to go and learn under you know a business school or learn under a financial mentor and god will save me that burden because there is somebody doing the work for me but i must honor the person to say listen while i was fasting and praying and rolling on the ground for one week god was dealing with you too i am not better than you simply because my training looks more spiritual i now submit to what you are doing please help those under the anointing one lecture from this guy who has spent five years learning the principles of the kingdom will now empower me in addition to what i have and then the guy too there is the side effect because for focusing learning about the economic system of the world as against his spiritual life he must balance it too and if he ignores me he will be wealthy but one attack on his life because he does not understand priesthood he can't defend himself one wrong investment motivated by the spirit of poverty can bring that man down are we together i'm coming back to this point let's go to the third level the third level and, I, and I, this is where I want you to pay attention to. The third level is where believers are thoroughly trained and thoroughly mentored, but they are not connected to purpose. Let me tell you, there is a danger for any assembly when you keep pumping anointing in people, revelation, revelation, and the people don't know what to do with it. The body of Christ is in trouble for this one. Is why many, many men of God keep having a headache. When you get young people, a young man, a young lady, you are teaching them about finances, teaching them about prayer and fasting. Do you not know that knowledge has an implication? The goal of all that investment is that there must be an opportunity for them to deploy. By the time a man is fasting 100 days, yet there is nothing for him to do in church. Are we together praying the kind of power that guy has one day he's going to say listen I, I don't know what to do with all this fire locked up in my bones that's why you can give him opening prayer of two minutes and he will turn it into prophecy for one hour it's not that he's bad the fire is too much and you have not told him what to do with it and there is no opportunity to deploy it every time you begin to teach people right and to mentor them there must be in your training the systems of deploying it this is true for ministry but this is also true for government if you keep training young people you are having graduates coming graduates coming and there's no platform to be able to help them let me tell you something somebody is going to come into their life and say listen don't mind this person you can start your own church if god is calling you that's fine but if god is not calling you that that becomes the advice or you can start your own business or you can do whatever it is let me tell you it's a risk to enlighten people and leave them without purpose 
Are we together? So I'm praying every day with you. I'm fasting every day with you. You've now graduated from the school of ministry. Impartation. Every service you are falling down and standing up. Revelation after revelation. A day will come. Knowledge is what will frustrate you. Not ignorance. You will find yourself overdoing things and you'll be angry. Because the goal is to have expression. Something within you keeps crying for expression. Are we together? That's the reason why a man who keeps teaching his child say how to drive. Help them please. You are teaching someone how to drive his car. You are teaching him how to do something and you leave him there. The gentleman can drive and yet there's no car to drive. One day, what do you think is going to happen? Talk to me. You did it so you know. One day when he's not around, you say, listen, uh, this this fire is 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 this this thing i need to drive god never designed people to remain members forever listen listen just listen just listen when i say not to be members listen people don't have to be around you to be with you are we together now That means if God is training you and one day God gives you a job with African Union or UN, you have become an extension of what we represent. Are, are we together? The joy is to see that now the value for you. Ah, I prophesied. Oh, this thing I just said. This is a prophetic word. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please sit down. This is the aspect that is missing in church. And I say this respectfully speaking. There is quality training. Quality mentorship. Training. But there are no platforms. So you find out leaders who should be changing society. Are dying with church fanatism. Nothing for them. You see people who should change. There are people who qualify to be governors. Leaders. But they are not aspiring. Because they have not been taught. That purpose is also spiritual. Moses. Whereas you should be helping Israel. Joseph. You should be bringing solutions. To the economic problems of Israel. Whereas you are there quietly. With a small life. This is what, this is why we are not able to translate our Christian experience to a context that transforms society. It is the reason why when you say you are a Christian, especially in Africa, most times they just look at you as if you are just a fanatic with no value to society. Is someone learning? Let me tell you this. I have said it and I will say it again. Preaching on the platform is not the only thing to do with the anointing. Preaching on the platform is not the only thing to do with revelation. If we don't mentor the younger generation properly, there will be trouble. Because when these guys are accessing light, it's important for them to know that the seven mountains are also platforms of ministry. So that the person who now is routing the part of politics... And the one who is staying to become a national prophet. They are doing the same thing in the realm of the spirit. You cannot say the one who is at the altar is higher than the one who is in government. No. No. Without Esther, the Jews would die. Are we together? It took Joseph manning the helm of affairs to preserve the purposes of God. Africa needs to understand the apostolic structure for kingdom advance. I can tell you we have not yet captured that blueprint holistically. That's why I took the time, respectfully speaking, to honor his majesty 
because of these kinds of apostolic understanding you imagine now respectfully speaking the kind of approach of leadership and governance to his territory Africa I'm a man of prayer I'm a man of fasting and I'm a man of the word but I'm a man of the whole counsel of God there are many young people right now who are not supposed to be on the pulpit they are being on the pulpit is causing trouble to them and to others they, know, they are not finding definition but the mentorship structure they have received has said once you are spiritual find a way of coming to stand here and they stand here yet they know joseph the, the, the throne is calling you daniel the place of governance is calling you esther you are fasting but realize that you are being called to the palace there will always be people like anna the prophetess their ministry stops at the temple they never go out of the temple if you take them out of the temple to be involved in secular things you have destroyed them they were called to stay they will stay and wait and jesus will still come to the temple and meet them this has been my concern by the privilege of god's grace i have studied many revivals i have studied a bit of the history of the church in nigeria i can tell you not to this is not the platform to start discussing it but some of the major moves of god in nigeria let me tell you this what killed them was a the emphasis of certain things there were those who came emphasizing the prophetic consecration prayer and then they didn't place emphasis on doctrine there are those who came i don't want to mention names respectfully speaking and the emphasis was just on doctrine and teaching and they de-emphasized the prophetic and prayer and both moves suffered by the time nigeria has only preachers i promise you that we are in trouble we did a bad job if a man of god produces only preachers then we're in trouble because one policy from our parliament can stop the purposes of God. Are we together? I believe in influence. I believe in the whole counsel of God. Men of fire, but people who are sheep among wolves, having the intelligence of the kingdom and even the wisdom of Egypt. Listen, I have studied territorial transformation by the grace of God. And I can tell you the truth. When Jesus walked upon the earth, we need to study the ministry of Jesus. I can list for you all the people groups that Jesus influenced. Jesus did not do crusades alone. Read your Bible. There were times he was with tax. He, he, the same passion he took to preach in one crusade was the same passion he took to go to the house of an influential tax collector. What was the result? Many people were set free because the man was a corrupt man. Look at Jesus. One moment he's talking to thousands of people. The next moment he's alone with the woman at the well. With the same passion. The next moment he's investing time casting out one demon. Because that one man set free was equal to ten cities. Hallelujah. Please look at me. I can tell you this. And I say it with every sense of humility. It is the turn of Africa to blaze the fire of revival. We have prophesied this and many who have gone before us have said this for many years. That there are certain nations that have been uniquely singled out by the election of grace. One of them, chiefest among them, is Nigeria. Now, with all due respect and honor to every nation, I am telling you this prophetically and that by the Spirit. However, rather than just rejoicing and jumping and saying we are the ones pioneering revival, we need to go and study the revivals that have happened and why they died. Are we together now? Yes. Where I come from, there is a wise saying, that when you see your neighbor's bed on fire don't just watch and laugh look for water quickly 
because that same fire is coming to you too look for water and start soaking your own beard too Europe has had its chance of revival the US has had its chance the word of faith and all these ones but let me tell you as we prepare for the return of Christ whether we like it or not this mantle for global missions this mantle has right now is in Africa it's not a lie it's not help those under the anointing it's not a lie respectfully speaking once upon a time now I say this with every sense of respect many Nigerians fly out with joy and say they are going for a lecture or conference somewhere but right now the whole nation and the entire globe they continue to come to this candlestick that has now been lit but my listen my 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 charge tonight is a prophetic warning because while we rejoice thinking we are getting it there are things we are missing too we are already beginning to follow the same pattern that aborted the revivals past do you know why rather than staying with the holy spirit to understand the structure and the formation of the move of god in a way that it lasts listen do you know when god comes his emphasis is not to produce preachers alone his emphasis is to produce witnesses and ambassadors please hear me body of christ god is not in the business of raising preachers alone preachers alone will not get the job done they never got the job done in the bible alone read the bible and see all those who walk wealthy people walked those in government walked joseph's walked esther's walked elijah walked you can't teach elijah about finances that's none of his business he's a radical prophet however you can't come and put esther down and joseph down and throw away economics some of you right now are about to lose your mantle and your call because you are following a template if i'm spiritual i must be this no no there is a formation and there is a distribution of training patterns we must have the intelligence listen men of god we must be matured enough to know what training pattern is allocated for what formation you don't train a theater art student in an anatomy lab it doesn't work that way there are courses called general courses that everybody would do education secular enlightenment gives us that knowledge there are many josephs who have been trained to become elijah they are going to fail there are many esthers who have been trained to become elijah and there are many josephs elijahs who are becoming esthers there are people who have no business with the palace their assignment is at the altar they should be mastering the art of the key is to recognize your place and appreciate other dimensions are we together for as long as this revival produces only preachers i repeat we are in trouble no the revival must produce men of hunger don't get me wrong the revival must produce men of fire that intrinsically god is not looking for preachers god is looking for witnesses if the geography of your witness is the altar then so be it stay there and fan the flames but don't stop Joseph from getting to the palace because you don't need to be there. Your assignment may not need the palace, but if Joseph never gets to the palace, if Esther never sits down with Ahasuerus, there are Jews that will die. Now please look up. Can I tell you this? whether you are joseph or elijah or daniel or anna the prophetess 
the word of God, prayer, the spirit of God, these are general causes. No matter where you are going to, whether you are getting to the palace, it will still be by the spirit, by the word. Are we together? There are many people claiming they are prayer warriors. And the grace that follows a prayer warrior is not there. Because their assignment is that of a Daniel. And every time they want to go like Daniel, they are surrounded by Elijahs. So they feel guilty for being Daniels. And they are giving up the Elijah mantle, the Daniel mantle to remain Elijah. If you are not Elijah, leave that place and find where Daniel is. Pray in the spirit for one minute. My heart is boiling with a good matter to give us structured intelligence on how to maximize the revival that is upon Africa right now because we are making a costly mistake and by love the Holy Spirit is pointing us and helping us to have understanding. Shalika Brandes Koti Zakater Yakata Hallelujah. Now, watch this. By the time we go to Hebrews 11, the Bible does not dichotomize them. When we get to Hebrews 11, both the Daniels, the Elijahs, the Esthers were given one word elders the bible says they obtain all of them the ones who preached the ones who man government for jesus the ones who preserved the economy they said all of them were called elders I like this part of the song. We'll raise your banner high. We'll shine your light so bright. We'll sing in honor of you. We'll raise your banner high. I read my Bible well and the Bible says he gave unto some he gave unto some apostles he gave unto some prophets he gave unto some evangelists some pastors you went to school if they say he gave some that means there are others what did he give the rest because the same Lord is rich unto all. We raise your banner high. We shine your light so bright. We sing in honor of you. I raise your banner high. I shine your light so look up if Mary was mentored by Anna the prophetess she would have missed Jesus because Anna the prophetess will keep her in the temple and as wonderful as she is Anna the prophetess will not be able to teach her so much about marriage yet marriage was the area of her call that was the area that would bet Jesus her assignment was to be chased enough until Jesus arrives through her Joseph of Arimathea was not a prayer warrior. 
but without Joseph of Arimathea he used his influence as a man of means to secure the grave where Jesus was put in without Joseph of Arimathea the word oh grave where is your sting will not come to place the body of Jesus was hanging on that cross prayer and fasting had finished his ministry it took influence to bring that body from the cross please hear me Nigeria we need to redefine by the spirit the apostolic formation for a revival that lasts we have laughed at others who went before us some of us were arrogant enough to even be sarcastic towards them now the mantle has come upon us we should not fail a generation through pride we need to sit down and learn the patterns of the kingdom Africa does not need preachers alone I repeat terrorists know this do you know not everybody who is a terrorist is kidnapping there are those who are financiers there are those who are the priests and the mediums you hardly see them outside but they are the ones who power those ones who go and fight they understand the formation hear me there are some of you based on your call and assignment you are not only going to fast and pray for 40 days the rest of your life will be in that consecration because you have the assignment of a watcher you have the assignment of a watcher you will be given the burden of nations you will be given the burden of territories you will pray down revival upon people but my caution for you is while you pray down revival don't teach that watchers are the only people needed in that formation no I repeat again Moses Aaron did not need to learn the wisdom of Egypt but Moses needed to learn the wisdom of Egypt please hear me if you are Naomi and you are Ruth pay attention to your marriage that is where the mantle is if you are Esther pay attention to your rising and influence because your assignment is in the palace if you are Daniel make sure you keep having an excellent spirit get the PhD become a professor don't let anyone tell you you cannot rise because you will need to sit on the board of companies and corporations and stand in for Jesus now hear me Please look up. Please look up. Sit down. Sit down if you can. Goodness. Do you know why I'm sharing this with you? I have been having a lot of prophetic encounters in recent times. And I've been picking the burden of the spirit. The spirit of God is saying something is wrong. We are veering off we are doing it religiously and even with pride but we are very enough if there is no restructuring of the divine pattern why do you think the bible captured all these people if the bible wanted to teach you only one thing one person was enough there are 66 books full of different scenario coordinated together to produce the same thing in our midst here there are judges and justices when we are praying in tongues they pray too in our midst here there are senators honorable members house members when we are praying in tongues they pray too because that is general cause when we are fasting remember there are courses in the university it doesn't matter whether you are studying mathematics medical science architecture when it's time for that course everybody comes that course is prayer that course is fasting that course is doctrine learning the word of god but as far as the jurisdiction of your witness is concerned i repeat if you are mary go and read about mary if you are elijah do you know what mentorship should produce mentorship should help you to start finding a figure in the bible that looks like your future if at the end of training you in church three years five years you have not found your parallel in scripture 
then you are not mentored properly if the only person you see through your mentorship platform is elijah you did not see well because elijah is not the only one in the bible the assignment of mentorship is to open you up to the various dimensions of the kingdom personified by the individuals written there so that by the guidance of the spirit you will start finding the blueprint that reflects where you are going to look out to abraham your father and to sarah that body i called you and blessed him so if god has told you you're going to become a kingdom billionaire don't feel less relevant just because you may not have the grace to fast for 100 days you are not less spiritual you are the one who will make the prayer warrior remain by supporting him so fire on with your learning of economic principles there is a lot of ignorance mixed with pride in the body of christ we must humble ourselves we are not the first to carry this baton but we must carry it and run with it with honor looking unto jesus not unto ourselves our sufficiency is not of ourselves please hear me koinonia the day i fail to show you this i have failed in my assignment if we assess koinonia right now and the only thing we can say of koinonia is that it is a place of where preachers are trained that may be wonderful if that is my assignment provided i acknowledge that there are other dimensions i don't have then that is fine but where i tell you a preacher is all you need to be i deceived you where i tell you a businessman is all you need to be no that's why i don't run away from politicians no i don't i don't run away from business people you will find me in their midst and i'm talking because the pattern that jesus left us was territorial influence training and representing the purposes of god let me tell you this when you study church history you will read where the church started making a mistake and i will tell you where that came from when emperor nero emperor nero was one of the the vicious emperors that persecuted the church historically speaking right at that time if you were born again you would not even last up to 72 hours so other aspects of the kingdom were not the interest of people it was just to stay martyrdom was all that they looked at now when emperor constantine came and the war that was fought with the sign of the cross and he brought victory by reason of the dream and the vision he had he now allowed the worship of god freely the believers who were now saved because all those who mentor them had died they didn't know what to do with their remaining lives now that they were not matured again so he started bringing all kinds of versions of imbalances a few people among them said listen we can't sit here and die like this we have children we have needs and they broke out and when you read the church it was one move every move you call from the protestants the puritans it was a a detection of imbalance in another move hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.